Let's look at an example of loan amortization. David has a car of $10,000 from the HSBC Bank that will be repaid by equal installments at the end of each year for seven years. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. The first part of the question is to calculate the size of the annual installment. So let's look at the variables we have in the question. We have the present value of the loan, which is at time zero, $10,000, the number of periods, which is seven years, the effective interest rate of 10% per annum, and the unknown variable, which is the annual installments, which is considered C. Please note that the interest rate and time must have the same time unit. In this example, both interest and the number of periods are in years. So let's begin by drawing the timeline from the bank's perspective. We start with year zero, then one, two, three, and so on until seven. At present, which is year zero, the bank will provide a loan of $10,000. So from the bank's perspective, it is a cash outflow. Then the bank will receive a periodic installment every year, which is C and is a cash inflow. The loan amortization is an example of the present value of an ordinary annuity. We need to rearrange this formula to get the periodic cash flow, which is called periodic installment. The formula of a periodic installment is the equivalent cash flow equals the present value times the interest rate divided by, open the first bracket, one minus, open the second bracket, one plus the interest rate, close the second bracket, to the power of a negative number of periods, close the first bracket. Therefore, the periodic installment is $10,000 times 10% divided by, open the first bracket, one minus, open the second bracket, one plus 10%, close the second bracket, to the power of negative seven, close the first bracket, which is equal to $2,054.05. The next part of the question is to calculate the total repayments over the term of the loan. In this example, we pay a periodic installment every year for seven years. Therefore, the total repayments of total installments or total debt service will be the periodic installments, which is C, times the number of installments, which is N. So the total repayments is equal to 2054.05 times 7, which is equal to 14,378.38. The next part of the question is to calculate the total interest payable over the term of the loan. Anytime we take a loan, we need to calculate the periodic installments, which is also called the debt service, which is composed of the interest on the loan, or the interest payment, and part of the loan, which is called the principal. So the total repayments, which is also known as total installments or total debt service, includes total interest payment and total principal repayment. Please note that the principal is part of the loan that we pay every period. So the total principal repayment during the loan duration is equal to the loan itself. Therefore, the total interest payment will be the total repayments minus the loan amount. In this example, the total interest repayment equals the total repayments of 14,378.38 minus the total loan of 10,000, which is equal to 4,378.38.